you know that Marvel is known for being meticulous in their movies, adding so many small details and callbacks that many people miss? So let me share a few of them with you, as I have compiled 7 Marvel movie details you might have missed. Who do you think Bruce Banner meet when he snapped his fingers to bring everyone back? When Thanos snapped his fingers, he was transported to the Soul World and met a young Gamora. This happened because after using the gauntlet, you're supposed to meet the most precious person to you. And in Endgame, when Tony Stark snapped his fingers, there's a deleted scene where he meets the adult version of his daughter, Morgan. So who did Bruce Banner meet when he snapped? Well, there's a theory that he met the Hulk and finally had a face-to-face -face conversation with him. Another theory suggests that he met Black Widow, which could explain why he told Steve that he tried to bring her back but knew it wouldn't work. Maybe because she told him that when they met in the Soul World. A lot of people also want Tony to have met Yinsen in the Soul World since he's the one who started Tony Stark's path to becoming hero. And he will be greeted by Yinsen telling him, So, you didn't waste it. Since Yinsen's last words to Tony is don't waste your life. Don't waste your life. But it wouldn't make sense since you should only see the most precious to you. Did you know that in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, when Doctor Strange is introduced to the members of the Illumiwadi. The Illumiwadi? Notice that the portal Reed Richards uses to enter is the same portal tech that the Kong variants used during their meeting in the post credit scene of Quantumania. Did you know that in Captain America the First Avenger, when Steve was doing his world tour, he drew this picture of a dancing monkey that represent what he feels inside? Well, fast forward decades later in Captain America Civil War, during T'Chaka's press conference, you can see the same drawing of Monkey on his desk. Mm, monkey. Did you know that for the final battle in Avengers Endgame, Doctor Strange says this to Tony? You said 1 out of 14 million we win, yeah? If I tell you what happens, it won't happen. Well, this actually happens to Thanos because if you remember when Nebula traveled back in time, she got caught by Thanos and he saw his future where he won. Since he had already seen that he would win, it didn't happen and instead, he got snapped by Tony. Did you know that in Avengers Infinity War, when Tony and the Guardians meet, look at this scene. You're from Earth. Not from Earth, I'm from Missouri. Yeah, that's on Earth. So why does Peter Quill know Missouri, but not Earth? Well, this is because he was abducted when he was really young, so the only thing he remembers is their home in Missouri. Additionally, other civilizations call Earth Dara, so Star-Lord doesn't know the term Earth yet. Do I serve? What am I supposed to say, Jesus? Did you know that in Avengers Endgame, when Hawkeye returns from their test run for time travel, notice that Scott is holding an orange slice. Hey, 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 look at me. This is because to time travel, you need to shrink to the quantum level, which takes a toll on the human body and Scott knows this. So he brought the orange for Barton, Similar to how he asked for an orange in Civil War after he changed his size to a giant. Does anyone have any orange slices? In the final battle of Avengers Infinity War, when Thanos arrives at Wakanda, look at this scene. Thanos give this confused look when Cap stops him. That's because his last encounters with humans were with Tony Stark, who was wearing a super strong suit, and Doctor Strange, who is a powerful wizard. Thanos was not expecting a mere human who isn't wearing any armor to hold him back.